Hi, my name is George Atencio. I'm 18 years old and I'm the creator here of this documentary. So the premise of this documentary came up when I was at the uh, Thor movie with my dad. Before the movie started, the theater played a 20 minute Wile E. Coyote in Roadrunner cartoon. You sit there, you watch the coyote, loss after loss, falling off the cliff, you know, painting the tunnel and running into it. And I started to feel bad for him and then just kind of like, hate the Roadrunner and think of the Roadrunner as like a very like mindless character. So after it was all over, I turned to my dad and I was like, I like the coyote more. Isn't that the way everyone else feels? And then he was like, you should make a documentary about that. So here I am. But for the documentary, I decided to remain neutral, see good qualities about the coyote and good qualities about the Roadrunner and just ask other people, out of the Roadrunner and the Coyote, which character do you like the best and why? The Coyote, because he's funny. My name is Luke Gilchrist, and I'm a Roadrunner fan. I'm Mariah, and I am the average Coyote liker. Uh, I'm Ethan Bannon. I'm in staunch opposition of Wiley Coyote and his mischievous deeds and ways. One minute of discussion, open discussion between all of you. All right, if I may. The coyote's intent is not merely to eat the roadrunner. As we see, there's uses of dynamite, other heavy weaponry, things that would completely destroy the roadrunner, making it entirely inedible. It's not only a predator-prey relationship, it is, it is a revenge story. It is, it is personal. A sentient conscious being attempting to attack and destroy, out of pure rage, another sentient and conscious being. Exactly. And going off that, the coyote has shown to have immense wealth. He buys so many explosives and weapons off Acme. Really, why doesn't he just order food? Like, Acme is a grocery store as well. And I'm sure they have Uber Eats in the Looney Tunes universe. He could just ship it out there. But he's in the middle of the desert. He this is for sport. Well, they this is hunting for out there. sport. Hunting for sport. A sentient being. A How conscious being. The road runner is not sent. When has it displayed sentient thought? All it does is run and run and run. He it talks. Even talk. He just says, yeah, me, me. It is an animal. It's just it a is a creature. No. He is hunting for food. You can see in his eyes. I see the gluttony in his eyes. Well, then the question under the question is, is the Roadrunner a sentient being? A sentient being. I believe yes. Why? The intellect. It's so clear. There was no way that a bird could outsmart modern machinery, modern technology. The just... thing is he isn't doing that. He's literally just running away. Yeah. That's all he does. He just runs. The coyote, it's not his fault he's stupid. He just is dumb but the intent is there. Files? All right, let's move on. You to do the not. Next. Let's continue arguing. You have to continue. Right. You see, innocent, I believe, innocent until proven guilty. He has not actually blown up the Roadrunner yet. Therefore, we do not know if it would completely damage the carcass for him to not be able to eat. The dynamite literally cooked the Roadrunner but, that one episode. But dynamite is used to explode like brick and like Caves. Yeah, the she just needs to make sure flesh. it's dead. <laughs> so, well, like, yeah. if it implodes like walls, I don't know how the little bird's gonna. Well, a... no, all right, like we'll move on to the other opposing team. So, the coyote, while he is a bit of a dunce, I will say he is smarter because the roadrunner simply runs. It gets out of most situations just by running and stopping. That's its only action. The coyote. He's got, he, he does have the book smarts. While he isn't street smart, there is literally only one street in the desert. It is one single long road. So the majority of the desert, he's fine. But he knows how to use a grenade. He's doing his best. And I don't think we should hate the coyote for that. He would make a good husband. Okay. He would, he would, he would give us a good husband. <laughs> All right, but we I will think move to the other team for their closing statements. I would like to once again bring up the point that instead of spending countless dollars, or who knows what he uses, credit I guess, on Bitcoin. weaponry, Bitcoin. 
the coyote could simply order food. Exactly. He doesn't know how to operate Anything else phone. to add? The whole situation would be solved. Wait, Everybody this? would be happy. They might even be friends. I mean, it's just them two in the desert. Will like to well, say- Well, it didn't just, exist back then. Just, just, I will okay. like to say as a final statement, I would like to see the coyote in Roadrunner kiss. What? That's the end of my part. Would your judge, introduce yourself. Well, I am Doran Steinfeld, and I was the judge of the debate. Big reveal. Who won the debate? I have to give it to the Roadrunner team. <laughs> they made a very good argument, and they're, they seem to work together a lot more <laughs> compared to the Coyote team. Uh, it was brought up that the Roadrunner and Coyote could possibly be lovers. Yes, what it was. What are your thoughts about that statement? Now, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're different species. So I don't know how that would work, <laughs> but um, I think that they could, I I'm not going to judge. Okay. Yeah.